Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video, we will learn one more awesome trick in Microsoft Excel application. And uh, this technique is uh, can be applied in any version of Microsoft Excel, either it's Excel 2010, 13, 16, or 19, or Microsoft 365. So let's get start and uh, learn that how to create a view of a large data set into a small one and to uh, control that database with with the uh, scroll bar as, as uh, we have generally in this application so let me give you an example so that you can understand and then follow the steps to create that view uh, in this example I have a data set and uh, in which we have some some columns uh, like serial number, order ID, customer name, product name, category, revenue. Okay, and uh, there are 369 transactions order orders has been generated. So if I get to the last uh, order, which is the 369 1432, uh, and definitely with the passage of time, this data increases. So for navigating this data set, I has to use this application scroll bar. So on my right side, you can see that I am I am just holding this scroll bar, vertical scroll bar, uh, with the help of my mouse left click, and I can drag and drop upward and downward in order to navigate this data set. So similarly, uh, as as same concept, we will create this kind of a scenario in in a new sheet where we don't need to use this Windows uh, this specific Excel application scroll bar where where we will be creating a customized uh, our own based uh, scroll bar by the help of developer form controls and we will set this large data set scrolling into uh, in in a, in a new sheet within some within few of the rows so let me uh, quickly show you some of the steps and uh, at the end of this video you will get the purpose and you can utilize this technique in either in uh, managing your dashboards or any other kind of report where you can create this kind of a view for your boss all right so I have just copied all the titles which is the first row from my data set uh, which is very simple I hope you understand just to select all these title or the headers Control C and Control V in the new sheet, right? Then I will add one scroll bar. For adding the scroll bar, you have you must have the Developer tab uh, in your application available, which is visible. If you don't have, so go to File tab, click on Options, and then in the Customize ribbon, you need to check mark the Developer tab and press OK in order to be visibly to get the visibility of this Developer tab. So once you have this Developer tab. In the controls group, you, you will have an insert button. Click on that. And in the form controls category, uh, you will click on scroll bar. And after clicking it, you need to draw this scroll bar on your spreadsheet as I am drawing here. Okay. And uh, on, on the very left side, I have one blank column, which is column A. Here, I will use uh, this column as a helper column. Uh, and one important thing is that whenever we add some objects from the developer tab we need to link with a blank cell as well so first let's do some customization and settings for this scroll bar so once you have draw this scroll bar you need to right click on this and in this contextual menu the last option is format control click on format control now the minimum value will be set to the one and the maximum value as we know that we have 369 transactions in our data you can give a larger number to this maximum value but in this example we are setting to this actual number of transactions so we have maximum value of 369 incremental change of 1 will remain here and we will link this object uh, with a blank cell so in, my, in this scenario I am linking with a cell that is M3 so whenever I click on this scroll bar down arrow so it generates an increment of 1 and slowly and gradually uh, it, it increasing a number like 25, 26, 27 it, and maximum we have set this scroll bar to 369 so as you can see uh, this M 
three cell is generating 369 at the bottom of this scroll bar and on the top uh, we have defined a minimum value of one so for here in the in the helper column or the extra column column a i will create a serial number but i will call m3 cell in cell a3 and it will give me the exactly same result which is available in m3 to a3 and in the cell a4 i will create a serial number by a logic that above cell adding up one in it so whatever number is present on the above cell of that column one will be add to that number so definitely it will create a serial number style and i will just copy this formula to the next few rows and i will create uh, a series of 1 till 10 now from this logic understand that whenever you click on the scroll the serial numbers are increasing here in the column a because uh, you know that the a cell a3 has been linked with m3 and we have generated a formula here that our cell should add one one here so it's like generating a serial number but only 10 values are visible here okay now what we need is we need to get data here on only our 10 rows based on the serial number and this serial number column is available to the very left of this data set now as, as a very basic user uh, i will be applying vlookup here so that all the viewers uh, can understand the logic whereas uh, for the advanced users you can use vlookup and match or index or match or any other logic if you would like to go further more exploration with the uh, referencing functions so but uh, for this specific example i will be using vlookup so that it could be easy for all of us uh, otherwise you can go for for the alternate solutions as well uh, alternate logics as well so starting from the order id column i am writing here a formula which is equals to vlookup lookup val value will be the serial number which is in a3 selecting the entire data set uh, you can press f4 key to make it absolute or as an advanced user you can convert this normal range into a table format so that uh, when the data gets appended uh, when the data increases so you don't know, need to worry about uh, expanding the range again and again but for the novice users for the beginners so i'm uh, having the simple example here so after selecting the data in the table array function argument then you need to define the column index number which is the output number so we need order id which is the second column and exact match we use false and i will just copy this function downwards and also i need to make sure that i need to use the correct referencing in order to get the results for the other columns as well once you have data set set and now you will get an idea that what kind of interface we were going to create from this so we don't need column m i will just hide this column i will also hide this column a as well and uh, i will also make sure to turn off the grid lines and uh, making a border for this table so now when i as you can see that from this scroll bar either using first in this in this data because this is a large data more than 360 rows so i need to use the windows scroll bar for to navigate from up and down but we have created the same view where we have customized the data with the help of uh, vlookup function and you can change it to index and match but also we have created a custom scroll bar with that logic uh, we have just uh, make our entire data set to a smaller window uh, in this specific rows only for the 10 rows so this is how you can create the these kind of views and uh, for, for your more practice you can also try to apply the filters as well so that your data should get uh, get on the lower side okay and uh, if the errors are coming then how you can uh, how you can address these errors as well but i hope that you you like this technique 